Good day students. Welcome back to another episode of School on Hair. I'll be your instructor for today. Today we're going to be learning basic science and this class is meant for GSS2. So if you're in GSS2, ready to learn today. So today's topic is sound. Sound. At the end of this lesson, okay, you should be able to define sound, okay? You should be able to know the characteristics of sound and also list the characteristics of vibration, okay? So today's topic is sound. Now let's dive into the topic. Now, uh, sound plays an important role in our life, okay? I'm sure without, um, without sound, we won't be able to know uh, if someone is talking to us, okay? We won't be able to know if the music is playing. We won't be able to know uh, what's going on on the road. It's be too so unsafe for us because our hair helps us to hear sound. Sound of someone talking, sound of an animal, sound of vehicles, any form of sound, good or bad, our hair always hears sound. So sound is a very important, plays a very important role in our lives. Okay, it is true sound that we know the period, uh, it's true sound we know, oh, it's time for uh, assembly on a school, we know, oh, it's break time if we are in school, oh, we know it's closing time because we, apart from looking through our watch, uh, uh, our watch to know what time it is, the, the, we have a bell that rings to notify us of every change of lessons and everything we need to do at the point in time. Okay, so um, sound helps us, helps someone, helps us to know, okay, if something is close by, okay, if someone is calling out at you, someone is trying to what, alarm me about something. So, like I said, a lot of things sound helps us to do that we are not even uh, conscious about, okay. We just go about our daily, uh, day, uh, our daily activities like it's normal, but really sound is a very important part of our life. And we're going to look at sound and uh, what it entails. So we also have... Um, Vibrating objects produces sound, okay? Vibrating objects includes our mouth, different things, okay? There are objects or objects or animals, they produce sound to the only vibration of their vocal cords, okay? Now, vibration uh, is the toe and fro or back and forth movement of an object. Sound needs a medium to travel, and it cannot travel in a vacuum, okay? So that's why when you when you eat an uh, iron object and another iron object, it's going to make sound, okay? That's a medium for it to travel, and you can hear. The someone that that someone is doing something okay now what is sound sound is a form of energy produced by vibrating bodies sound is a form of energy produced by a vi by vibrating bodies sound requires a material medium for its propagation that's another important thing about sound sound is an is a it's a form of energy produced by vibrating bodies it also requires a material medium for its propagation the toe and fro back and forth motion of an object is called vibration. Some instruments produce sounds due to the vibration of the membranes, some due to vibration of strings, some due to uh, some also produce sound due to vibration of the hair column. Okay, there's always a medium through which sound must travel through, okay? Either it's um, through the membrane, either through strings, either through the hair column, there's always a medium for, vo for sound to what be produced. Now you can see um, a guitar, someone, a guitar, let's ask someone is playing a guitar, okay, and you can hear, you are here, okay, that someone is playing a guitar, okay, when we hit the drums, membrane of the drum vibrates producing sound, when we play guitar, the strings on it makes toe and fro motion and produces sounds, sound produced by vibrating prongs of turning fork, okay, so sound always, uh, is always propagated through a medium, okay, so we have wave and particle motion of waves mechanical waves are waves that travel through a material medium okay don't forget i said sound needs a medium to be propagated now okay so we are, these are called mechanical there's actually a mechan mechanical wave okay behind this that helps um, um that helps waves that travel to travel through material medium to produce sound okay so it means that we have two types of mechanical waves depending on the word direction of the word motion of particles or the medium of the wave propagation okay when it when it when it comes to sound okay so we have the transverse and the longitudinal okay these are types of mechanical waves now a transverse wave okay uh, particles particle motion is to perpen is to perpendicular okay the direction of the wave motion that is when um transverse wave is when the the, uh, the, part, the motion of the particle is perpendicular to the direction of the wave motion Okay, so this type of wave is a mechanical wave, okay, and it is called transverse wave. Okay, transverse wave is a type of mechanical wave. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's a wave that is produced when uh, particles.